Hey there, Leslie here coming to you from my new empty echoey office amidst a bunch of boxes to talk about transition. We've just moved and bought our first home and there's been lots of excitement and wonderful challenges. And I've gotten hit upside the head sometimes forgetting that I am in transition. That's what we're talking about in this video. What are some key tips to really navigate transition in a way that keeps us connected to ourselves and what really aligns with our soul direction. Let's dive in. Hey, Leslie Huttert here. I am an acupuncturist, spiritual guide, and healer around town. And we have just wonderfully bought our first home and moved in. It's been a couple of weeks now. As you can see, we are still getting things together. We've still been working a lot up until this time, and it's a little bit of the end of the year holiday break. And my parents are here helping us get a lot of projects done as well. And throughout this process, I've been surprised sometimes that I sort of forget that this is a transition period because maybe there's so much excitement or it's obviously something that has been a big up level for us. At the same time, there's transition going on. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the inner and outer aspect keys, as well as three key points to really help you navigate transition more smoothly in your life, whether that's a move or a big life change or a change in relationship, um, whatever comes up, we know that the only constant of life is that things are always changing. So let's dive into point number one. Now this might seem silly, but this is the one that has been most important for me that I've forgotten the most is just one, remind yourself that you're in transition. There's been so many moments where I've just sort of had this moment out of the blue of been, why is stuff so hard right now? Or why am I really tired? Forgetting that this is actually a transition time. So making this mind shift at the beginning, going into things are going to feel a little weird. Things are going to feel off. I'm challenged with a lot of new things at this moment. Just making that mind shift will give your protector system and the inner parts of your mind that try to keep you safe and regulated will give them some hints that it's not that something is terribly wrong. It's just that you're in transition. So this mind shift alone has been really helpful for me to remember just to come back to myself and to really normalize what is a tricky process. Number two, this is an outer world technique. So things about your environment and your people, the things that you change in your outer world, which can be quite helpful. So in number two is to create anchors. This can be things that you know really help you come back to your center. I highly recommend the outer anchors of people, your sort of Dharma friends, your close soul tribe that you really align with. Those close friends, check in with them more often. Plan that ahead of time to have these touch points of outer things that are still the same, whether that is food or routine, your outer routine, having that nailed down in a transition as much as you can can be helpful. I've even bought plenty plants as a way really earlier rather than later when we moved here, just to have things that were around even in the midst of boxes that sort of anchor me to the nature element, to things of myself. So number two is create those outer anchors. And number three, the last key is an inner world technique. Here we want to create the inner anchors for your inner world. This can be things like what is your spiritual routine and connection? Now is the time to really do those spiritual routines like it's your freaking job because having that inner anchor really aligns you one with what the true reality of this life game that we're playing actually is and pulls you back into yourself and your alignment with what is. I'd like to offer you a mind shift here that you can make in your inner world. And that mind shift is the reminder that I am not the doer. This is an idea that, you know, life and the true reality is doing through me. No matter what transition we make in life, there are always constant changing. The truth is really that which does not change. So really connecting with this idea that I am not the doer. Life is doing through me. I am a feather on the breath of God. I am floating down the river of life. However you imagine that in your spiritual reality and your particular tradition, this idea that 
I am being moved and held and my highest purpose is really to respond to the way that the great mystery is whispering and directing me to go. So in these moments where there's been a lot of outer changes, we can really connect with those inner anchors of what we're really aligned with and the greater mystery of knowing that we are being guided and looked after in deeper ways maybe than we can even know. So we've covered outer tips, inner world tips, bringing those together and just remembering that transition kind of sucks. It's a challenge to the system. And just like anything else, challenge creates a stimulus to the system to rise to a new occasion, to keep our adaptability. And that in itself helps us grow and change. I'm Leslie Hutter. You are a soul with a body. I'm so glad to be here with you. Thank you for being with me in my transition and I'll see you next time. 